Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we're finding a first derivative using quotient's rule. Let's get started. Quotient's rule said that when you take derivative, you gotta take derivative of the first one times the denominator minus, leave the first one alone, take derivative of the second one. Kind of reminds me how my daughter goes out the door. She takes care of her nail polish, she washes her hair, hair and calm it and then she put her makes up on and put her flip flops on so on so forth so all you have to do really just calm down and slow down I'm gonna pull the four out so I have a uh, one minus x on the bottom okay the reason I want to do that is make it a little easier for me and pull the four out so it's twelve now again we're gonna take derivative of the first one I remember how my daughter goes out the door so you just take it a slow two x and then you leave the bottom one alone, which is this one, minus, you leave the first one alone, and you take derivative of the bottom one, which is over here, it's minus 12. Okay, because it's 12 minus 12x, so it's minus 12 is the derivative. And that's pretty much done. If you got over here, it's 90% done. Okay, now you just have to clean it up. From here, I have a 2x times 12 minus 12x. Uh, plus 12x squared. In the bottom I have 12 squared, 1 minus x squared. So I'm going to just simplify and see what I have. I have a 24x minus 24x squared and plus 12x squared. So I can cancel one. And I have a 12 squared, a 1 minus x squared. Okay. And then 24 comes out in that I have a 12 and then become a 2x minus, now this term combined, I have a minus 12x squared. So I have minus x squared divided by 12, y minus x squared. This one has a square. So this square cancels out. I have a 12, y minus x squared. There's nothing I can do there. On top, if I wanted, I can pull the x out. I have a 2x minus uh, 2 actually minus x. So 2x minus x squared. And then that's it. Okay, so it's not really it's complicated. It's kind of tedious. You just have to slow down doing a sequence, term by term, and make sure you know which term you're taking care of. Think about it going out the door. Okay, find your keys, take care of your makeup, whatever you have to do, but slow down. Don't rush it. Right? That's, a, that's really all you have to do. And I hope it's clear for you. All right, send any request for similar type of problems directly to my channel, and I will try to work on it and make another math video. Don't forget to like this video, and until next time, have a confident day.